What's up guys, welcome back to Max Aroma, your number one destination for fragrances on the low. I am Casey and we are trying our second part for our women's fragrances of La Rive. We have Touch of Woman by La Rive, which is the Black Opium, um, YSL Black Opium EDP dupe. We have the uh, Miss Dream from La Rive, which is the uh, Carolina Herrera good girl dupe and then we have last but not least the in flames from La Rive, which is um, the Paco Rabanne Olympia dupe so we're gonna be trying these fragrances out give a small profile of the notes and what to expect from these fragrances um, as with any first impressions obviously and then we'll be trying these fragrances out today uh, well I should say to this um, evening Wednesday all throughout the day and then Thursday in the morning so about 48 hours of testing trial and error and I'll have obviously as usual when uh, my mother try one of this fragrances out and I'll try to split my 48 hours in uh, 24 and 24 for each fragrance that I'll be trying out myself just to give an overall perspective of the fragrance developing in terms of longevity um, projection and then give a general idea so to what you can, um, you guys can use this fragrance for, for, you know, like a recommended usage. So um, just trying the fragrance out gives you an idea of how the fragrance is meant to be used, where and for what season. Now most of these seem to be, uh, from the notes I kind of read up, that these are a little more um, fall winter fragrances, just because they're involving, you know, woody notes, um, sweet notes, Va vanilla etc however we will be testing this out to make sure that is the case now without further ado let's try out Miss Dream as you can tell these are brand new wrapped so we're just trying it out just now standard La Rive boxing as you can tell the um, original Carolina Hera is actually in a um, like a heel I believe this one is not in a heel, so this kind of looks like a, you know, crystal vial kind of thing. It's pretty cool. I like it. I think it's a unique design, not too fancy, but I mean, for the price you're paying, it's pretty good. And then we have the standard box as well. Now, let's try this out. The one thing Larive always gets right is these sprayers. They're phenomenal. If you can... Very nice sprayer. Starts off very... Definitely has that white floral, you know, persona that this fragrance is meant to have. Kind of spicy. I, I kind of feel that warm spicy as well. The cap is not popping in. <clears throat> now I'm going to just leave this fragrance to sit a little while I put it back into the box. Sometimes these fragrances require a little... Um, like 30 seconds before you smell it just because most like some of these La Rive fragrances mostly have a little more of a alcoholic note in the beginning that makes them a little stronger to smell right off the bat now wow this smells definitely very nice smooth subtle smell from what I know from Carolina, I have the CH Men Privé in my personal collection and it's pretty strong in terms of what the actual persona of the fragrance is. And this is um, what I would say, what I expect from Carolina Hera would be the same, but this is um, very nice and smooth in terms of the um, opening. Oh, I, I like this. White floral, the sweet, the sweetness, the warm spices is very nice. I definitely like this. Um, Miss Dream over here and don't forget these La Rive women's fragrances are mostly EDPs from um, what I've been seeing for all of these fragrances. Now we're going to be trying out Touch of Woman. This is a Eau de Parfum as well. So the other one was an EDP and so is this. Now we're unwrapping this. And the box is pretty standard as you can tell you know there's nothing fancy a little very nice I like the design I mean it's not overtly basic you know and this is the fragrance itself as you can see 
Larive Touch Up Woman. This is the 90 ml. So from what I can, what I've seen, I think the uh, 30 ml is a little different in terms of the size and um, profile of the actual fragrance bottle. It's a little different, but this is definitely nice. I like the um, glass, the way it's shaped, the uh, trim on the cap. You know, just overall, it's pretty cool. And this is the box over here and the lighting. It has this nice design all around. We'll be tossing that. And now we're gonna be trying this fragrance out over here. So right around my elbow. Pump it a little. Oh, very nice spray once again. Oh, this one is definitely strong. I'm gonna leave this a little. Now, this is the YSL Black Opium Dupe EDP version. So, um, I think YSL Black Opium has two versions, and this would be the EDP Dupe, basically. So, it should have a more stronger scent, obviously, because it is an EDP itself, not only because it's duping another EDP. So right off the bat, I smell that woody note, um, the white floral notes I'm smelling as well. However, I'm not smelling the vanilla notes I expect, but maybe that's because I just sprayed it on. Um, now, in terms of the powdery notes, um, this definitely has that powdery body as well. Mm. Yeah, I'm still not smelling the, um, the vanilla. However, it's possible that it may develop after a few minutes of wearing the fragrance on. Now, all of both of these fragrances so far smell pretty strong. So I expect them to be lasting for quite a bit of time in terms of longevity and having decent projection. Now, in terms of the seasonality, probably going to be a fall winter fragrance from the um, strength of the fragrance and the density as well. Um, in terms of what I mean by density, the actual fragrance is like heavy, you know, it kind of has that heavier scent rather than a light and fresh scent, such as the citrus fragrances you usually have in the summertime, springtime that people use. So these are definitely going to be fall winter fragrances. Now in terms of the in flames, from what I've read and heard from people, Olympia and this fragrance itself are uh, kind of a versatile fragrance, which I love in general. Now these are women's fragrance, so obviously I'm not going to be wearing them on a daily basis. But overall, if you're looking for a versatile fragrance, this may be one to consider. Now we're going to be trying In Flames out, which is the Paco Rabanne Olympia dupe. Once again, brand new. So we're tossing these plastics open. <clears throat> yeah. Now this box actually has a nice feel to it. It's like a matte feel. In terms of the actual boxing, it's pretty standard. Nothing too crazy of a, you know, creative creativity or whatnot. Now the Larive in Flames kind of reminds me of the older Larive fragrance that we tried out with the ribbon and the shape of the fragrance itself. So it's pretty standard. You're not getting anything crazy in terms of what the fragrance design bottle or bottle design is, pardon. But we expect the fragrance to be nice, right? So let's try this out. Now I'm going to be trying this on this side of my arm. Now just pump the spray a little and Bam! Right off the bat, it has this nice, sweet, um, kind of fruity tone to it. Now, this is meant to have a kind of that mimicking effect of the Olympia, which has hazelnut in it and marine notes and like wa water notes and whatnot. So that's going to be interesting. I don't think that's the best kind of mix for a fragrance, but we'll see. gives off this hazelnut note that um, it's kind of interesting with the mix of the woody notes, the tropical marine notes as well. It's definitely a versatile fragrance, I would say. It's definitely strong in terms of what I can smell. The fragrance is um, also pretty unique in terms of the body of the fragrance, a little more unique than the two other fragrances that, that we've tried so far. However, 
obviously we're going to let those two have their chance as well and to develop properly so we can kind of smell the notes that they offer as well but this one definitely takes a very nice approach with that nice opening tone tropical marine uh, i'm not smelling the vanilla note that i was expecting to smell as i didn't smell on the other fragrance as well however it's possible that it takes a little longer for these notes of vanilla or other notes in general to develop as it's been you know like a minute since i've sprayed this fragrance now in terms of our review we'll be reviewing all three fragrances on thursday and we'll be giving our um, review of the scent overall if it's similar to the original or not um, if the longevity is as expected to be long lasting you know long lasting expected for these fragrances usually are six to eight hours for long lasting so um if it doesn't last that long, then you know it's going to be medium last um, three to six hours, so so something around the, those ranges. Now, in terms of projection, usually these fragrances do not project. I mean, they do not like to project at all. They stick really close to the body, and you know you don't expect too much. So we're going to be discussing that as well, as well as the seasonal use and the recommended use as well. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as we will be back on Thursday to review these lovely fragrances. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on Thursday. Let it go.